For 2024, Martin Guitars has revamped its ever popular X series guitar, the entry level into the Martin lineup. Today, we're going to tell you what it's all about, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. My name is Cooper Greenberg. And we are here in Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag. And check out our podcast. It's called the Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So Martin has had an X series in their lineup for a while. Um, I don't remember when it was started. Um, but it's been a very popular option for people who wanted to get a Martin guitar, yeah. um, but really didn't have the funds to get into like a 15 series or a standard series. And so Martin's had this offering, um, you know, made in their Mexico facility in mm -hmm. Navajoa and uh, bringing a variety of, you know, different features at a lower price point for Martin fans. They've revamped it for 2024 with some features that I think are really great and also some aesthetic options that are sure to please people who want an X-Series. Yeah, I mean, X-Series, Road Series, 15, 16, 17, Standard, Custom Shop, yeah, Modern Deluxe, somewhere in there. Um, if you're a Martin fan and you've already got a bunch of Martins, you want something to take on the road, but you don't want to take a Road Series, take an X-Series. Don't take the Road um, Series on the road. Yeah, don't take the Road Series on the road. That's too nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, X-Series is kind of you know, one, like Chris said, it's very popular. We don't talk about it a ton on the channel because we're always talking about big fancy pants custom shops and all kinds of real high-end stuff, but there are still good Martins available for $6.99, $7.99. Like, that's kind of the price range you're in. I think it's anywhere from maybe $6.49 to $7.99 in these guitars. Well, they have the all HPL ones, which are even less, but uh, so, yeah, they're part of the X-Series. But I digress. Whatever. These are under $1,000. And they're Martins. Y'all take it easy. End of video. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they redid the whole line this year. They did. There's a lot of changes. Uh, some of these are very subtle. And I want to make sure that we call them out because a lot of people may miss them. But they're some of my favorite changes to the lineup. Uh, but let's start with some of the most obvious things. So the back of this looks really cool. Uh, this is the GPC. I'm going to get this wrong. GPC X2E. X2E. I love the nomenclature. Um, and this is, is this the Zitacote or the Cocobolo? That's the Coke. This is the Cocobolo. This, uh, because it has the spruce top. Um, spruce? It's spruce. It's spruce. And uh, you can also get the same uh, bot model, really, body shape and everything. But the back and side is going to have a Zitacote pattern with a Sapele top. Right? I yes. think so. And then you've got one. Uh, that's spruce. That's spruce. And then uh, straight from the vaults, this one's got Brazilian rosewood HPL. Okay, now, before you rush to our website and go, I can get Brazilian rosewood for less than $1,000, HPL. So let's talk about the construction of these guitars, Yeah. what HPL is, um, because it's an important distinction. So the X-Series has featured HPL um, for as long as I can remember. And, uh, you know, I remember 20 years ago, they had some Brazilian rosewood ones, and there were some very confused people kind of like, what? So HPL is a high-pressure laminate material that Martin uses. The wood grain patterns that you see on these are from actual wood grain, but that's not what's on these. These patterns are basically printed on these guitars. Okay. Uh, so it's a, it's a material that's, I've described it kind of like Formica. It's a very robust material. That works well for the back and sides of a guitar. It is very difficult to damage or crack or even scratch uh, with these guitars. I remember years ago we were doing a, a Martin event with Corey Congilio, who is an amazing guitar player. Um, if you're watching Corey, you're not because you're busy gigging. But he was took an X-Series and he took a, like a key out of his pocket and he tried to scratch it. I'm like, that's my guitar, man. Um, it, it didn't scratch, thankfully. But to illustrate just how strong these are. And that's paired with a solid top on these guitars. So you've got laminate back and sides. In this case, it's not layered wood. It's high pressure laminate. So it's this material. And the cool thing about doing this is they're using actual patterns and they're going to be different. Yep. So not every single GPC X2E, did I get that right? <laughs> not every single one 
is going to look like this. There's going to be some variation, so you can get one with your own exciting grain pattern. So yeah, so they're using Coke Bolo, Ziracote, um Brazilian Brazilian rosewood. There are, you know, Koa options, mm -hmm. mahogany options. Uh, there's black ones, but I think there's a Johnny Cash one. Yeah, there's Johnny Cash DX Johnny Cash. Um, I mean. The X series are what they are. We did a video maybe a couple years ago about the GPC X2E. Uh, we've, in a, one of our most popular videos, the cheap versus expensive, we did an earlier X series, which is the Trivolo X1E. Um, they sound good for what they are. They do. I mean, that's the thing. They're durable. They sound good. They look like a Martin. They got Martin on the headstock. And I think adding the different patterns you know, on the backs and sides, um, they could have easily just done it black yeah. or they could have done it brown or whatever. It brings color. some cool aesthetic choices to it. Yeah, it's like, why not, you know? Um, but these are two of the most popular body shapes. There's dreadnoughts, there's mm -hmm. single O's, there's triple O's, there's double O's. Uh, there's 12 string now in the lineup. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's nice seeing kind of Single O, double O, triple O, GPC, and Dreadnought represented the X series. So whatever Martin you like, whatever you're going for, I want a triple O 18 real bad. I want a D45 real bad. I have less than $1,000. You can hit that body style and uh, get a guitar that I think does sound really solid. So most of the sound comes from the top on an acoustic guitar, probably 85% roughly. So these are solid top, which are brace, spruce top in the case of these two guitars spruce bracing as well, according to the specifications. Um, it's got a new redesigned modern bridge like we've seen on the SC guitar. So it's kind of like this slope design bridge with these softened wings, which is really nice, uh, made of select hardwood. It, underneath there is a pickup and uh, it's Martin's new, what they call it, E1 Electronics? E1. Um, so Martin's E1 Electronics is an undersaddle pickup with a sound hole mounted tuner that's built in. Um, and you've got your controls right here so that they are unobtrusive and they say Martin on them instead of Fishman like in the past. They've redone the rosettes um, on these guitars. And then what I really liked that they did and what I was impressed when Colin brought these by to show us before Nam was the body and the neck has been softened. They've chamfered the edges. And you might have heard us talk about that on this channel in regards to some other guitars from makers like Taylor, where Taylor will do a builder's edition and they will chamfer the edge, which is basically rounding and softening it so it's very comfortable to hold. That's on guitars that are rather expensive, like thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a really premium edge treatment that they're doing on this. And it's on the body, but it's also on the fretboard along the neck. And it makes for a just more comfortable guitar to hold. Um, and if there is a huge benefit that these have over past X-Series guitars, I think it's that. The, the playability was great. The feel of the neck with the rounded sides and the feel of the body as your kind of arm goes over it is superior, in my opinion, to the previous ones. Would you agree? I would agree, for sure. Um, you mentioned select hardwood. In there. Yeah, well, that's what they're using for the bridge. Um, you know what? The neck is a type of wood. I think it's um, also hard select hardwood. Yeah, yeah. these the, are definitely made with wood, mostly wood. With wood. What's the fretboard? I think it's wood. Um, wood. Wood. You heard it here. So select hardwood bridge, select hardwood neck, select hardwood fretboard. Spruce, Spruce top. top. <laughs> um, there's a little bit of mystery going on there. However, you can rest assured that it is wood. Though we we rib. Um, they're not going to put some on there that's not going to... They're not going to use select softwood. They're not going to use softwood on the... Uh... It will only be select hardwood. Yeah. So you may be looking at a couple walnut guitars. You may be looking at... Like, I mean... I thought it was walnut. And, you know, when we first saw these, I said, is that walnut? And uh, Colin was like, yeah, I think so. And he's like, select wood. So it's yeah. probably walnut. Um, but it's whatever's available to get it into this price point and to be workable and good. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at, is they're not gonna put something on there that's not gonna do the job. 
uh, but they're not specifying what materials those are. What and that does mean is that there's going to be variation. The I will say on your that guitar looks is darker wildly than different on this than one. one. Yeah. yeah, which is fine. Uh, it's whatever because it's wood. Going up to the headstock, we have uh, these the headstock. <laughs> veneers. Oh, the old headstock veneer. They're yeah. also going to be yeah, match the matching the, uh, wood to yeah. whatever the HPL is on the back of slides. And they've changed out the tuners to these uh, kind of satin finished tuners. Um, nondescript, probably ping tuners. What do you think? About the tuners? Yeah. That's the one thing that I would, maybe if I was buying one of these guitars, and it's it's almost like upgrading a tuner in a guitar at this price point, it might be too big of an investment to make sense. That's the one complaint about I, that I have about these guitars, um, and it wasn't even both of them. It was just this one. Uh, I didn't have the easiest time with the tuning machines. Every once in a while, we get really nice guitars where you have that issue. You yes, know, it's, that's it's, true. It's, it's not. It's not a total deal breaker. That one tuned up easy right away. This one, G and D string. Hopefully, me saying that doesn't make you realize in the demo. Yeah, that sounds a little out of tune, but these ones <laughs> give me a little trouble. <laughs> But it's it's whatever. I mean, the that's the one thing that I would change. Poor and craftsman bl bl blames his tools, Cooper. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Um, however, both of these come with a gig bag, which is necessary uh, for any guitar to have. They come with a gig bag. They come with a pickup, and they got solid tops and fun things to look at on the back and sides, and made mostly of wood. I think it's a compelling guitar in the price range. Let's take a listen. So there you have it, the revamped Martin X series. Now we've kind of been joking around a little bit in this video, but I do want to make something very, very clear. These are clear upgrades to the past X series, which were also upgrades to the X series before that, in my opinion. 
Um, I'm going to point out specific things that I think have been a great progression along the way. So first of all, I think it can be very difficult for uh, a builder to get a guitar at this price point made in North America because Mexico is in North America for those of you who weren't tracking um, and get it in at certain price, you know, at a certain price level with certain features yeah. like the solid top with, you know, the additional treatment that they've done to the body and to the fret to get good playing and action on this, um, include a pickup and include a gig bag. There's lots of manufacturers that we work with that don't include a case or a gig bag with their guitars. And I, I don't like that. If there's one thing that I'm going to get on a soapbox about, I think guitars should come with at least a gig bag. Um, you know, factor it into your price, make it work. I think I, I'm glad that Taylor does that across their lineup. I'm glad that Martin does it across their lineup. Um, I just think, you know, that's, that's how it should be. But let's talk about some uh, X series in the past and why I think these are such a huge improvement. I joked in previous videos, if you go back and watch some of our X series stuff, they used to have a multi pieced laminate neck um, that looked kind of cool and was horrendous if you ever needed to repair it. And it was called the Stratabon neck. My joke was that 50 Stratocasters had to die for that one neck to exist. The problem with those necks was that they were very, very heavy as a consequence of their laminate construction. And so you would kind of be sitting with the guitar and it would just want to do the neck dive. And it added a lot of weight to the guitar overall, which I'm not a fan of. So these, whether it's select hardwood of whatever kind that they're using, it is a good playing, solid, stable neck that's not going to make your guitar dive bomb constantly. Yeah. Um, and I like that there's some aesthetic options. You know, if you're going to go with a guitar in this price point, it's going to be laminate, period. And I think this is a robust material that Martin's had a lot of success using. And uh, they're giving you some nice aesthetic options for it. Yeah. Now, we also made a joke about spruce. Well, it is spruce. So there you have it. There you go. What kind of spruce? Spruce, spruce. Yeah. Um, if you can notice in the, you know, through your screen, the top on that one looks pretty different than this one. They're both obviously spruce, but um, whether they are Sitka or lutes or some random piece of Adirondack that was laying around or whatever, you you get what you get. However, um, spruce is spruce at the end of the day, and you'd rather have a spruce top than a oak top. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, all kinds of spruce are acceptable. They sound a little bit different than each other yeah. in this price range and these types of guitars. I don't think it's going to the type of person that is like, oh man, I gotta have an Addy top on my uh, my X series. You know, it's like yeah. it, it's doing its it's doing its job. Well, honestly, yeah. if you are, then you should be looking at a more expensive guitar. Yeah, probably. So there you have it. All in all, I think it's a really great package for the money. Um, it's a crowded market out there, I will say. Um, so I, I'm glad that they brought these these really kind of playability improvements, even more than the aesthetic improvements. Yeah. The neck and the rounded body are comfortable. The action set is set up perfectly. And the pickup is is really good enough to do whatever you need to do in most live environments. So you can buy this guitar, you can play at church, you can play in a band, you can play at a coffee shop, whatever. Um, this will do what you need to do, you know, and it won't break the budget. Is it? A, here's the question for, you know, Martin. Is the combination of playability features aesthetic choices that they've done with this and the price point um, compelling enough in this kind of crowded market because this kind of 500 to a thousand dollar price point is really there's a lot of really great guitars um, in that segment and most of them have spruce tops you know that's kind of what's going on in that in that yeah. price range um, I think these are pretty compelling it'll be interesting to see what guitarists think what do you think yeah I mean I think most in that price point, no matter what we are getting from China, Indonesia, mm -hmm. Korea, um, and other various places, but it's a hefty thing to put Martin on the headstock of something, and I I don't think they do it lightly. Um, they want to preserve their reputation, and I don't think they would. You know, I you know that so much R and D probably went into the X series in general, and then how they were going to make it better. And I really appreciate that they didn't say, all right, we're redoing the X series. They're all starting at $9.99 yeah, for now. Real. I mean, that that would kill it, I think. So I think 
you know, it's it's similar with other brands. I mean, that don't have a segmented line like a Gibson and Epiphone. Right. Epiphone Gibson is happy doing a two ninety nine Epiphone. Of course, they're Epiphone also trying to take Epiphone up market. Too, yeah. So, but I mean, with a brand like this that is not segmented, there's there's two factories, and the things that come out of those two factories both say Martin on them. I think this is a good place for them to be, and within the Mexico factory, they still got road series and stuff that gets some solid junior wood series. and juniors and you know you got to have a couple backpackers mm -hmm. while we're while we're at it um so yeah i i dig it and i think they're good i mean uh, i'd like to open up google maps and see if we're closer to navajo than we are to nazareth you know because we probably are we probably are i mean yeah. there's there's a lot of uh there's a lot to be said about you can at this point you can get a good guitar out of anywhere in the, the world, technology, yeah. you can also get a bad guitar out of anywhere in the world. Very true. Um, but something that's made in Mexico is right next door. And in their factory, they literally have a video feed of what's going on in Navajo. And they're making good guitars. And it's like, it's not such a foreign thing. Oh, these are import Martins. Yeah, they, they're right down the street. So um, at $6.99, starting in that range because i'm pretty sure that's where they start off i think it's it's a totally valid choice uh for somebody that's looking for something to do their coffee shop gigs or travel with not worry too much about have a guitar that can sit on a stand out in the living room with your kids running around yeah uh, you know keep your triple o 42 in the case and keep your triple o x2 e um by the by the couch and you're probably going to play this guitar more so i do know a lot of guys who do that yeah, guys and gals, you know, or we'll keep it, uh, you know, take it to the coast where the humidity is going to be crazy. Take this guitar instead. Yeah. You know, that kind of Why thing. Why not? So, well, it's always been a, a compelling offering. I think the improvements are fantastic and the price point remains very compelling as well. So if you want more information about these guitars, you want to take a look at the specifications and see the photos of everything in that lineup with the different veneers and everything, uh, you can see that on our website, which is? alamomusic.com. Look at all the Martins, because we got them all from X series to customs. We pretty much do have um, almost their entire lineup. Yeah, I think we do in stock right now. Come get them. Yep. Um, and if you have more questions about these guitars, or you know, it's a when you're dealing with this price, is uh, is the X series a better choice, or the Road series a better choice, or should I just go up a little bit in price and get into like a 15 series? Those questions we can actually help you answer. And on our website, you can chat with someone. Um, it's a real person. We don't have bots or anything like that. Sometimes it's Cooper or myself or one of our other great sales staff. But you can also feel free to give us a call or come in the store anytime, and we'll help you find the guitar that works best for you. And while we're at it, if you like this kind of thing, uh, witty banter and reviews of guitars, uh, you should... Roasts. <laughs> Roasts? You don't want to subscribe. That's all right. Are you subscribed, Jerry? You want to subscribe. You want to turn on notifications. You want to like the videos. And you want to comment below and tell us what you think about the guitars we review. Or that's all. evidently yeah. our weight and how much barbecue we're eating. Yeah, that's fair. So it's actually it's not fair, all right? <laughs> no more of that. <laughs> if you want to make fun of my name and stuff, just write it on a piece of paper and then Uber. crumple it up. You know, do the old write someone a letter thing and then just don't send it. All right. You don't have to hit comment every time you want to roast me. <laughs> There you have <laughs> keep, keep the beard comments coming. I appreciate it. Yeah. Anyways, great. thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.